Support staff in Palatine District 15 resume their walkout today. A judge says they're free to strike, and now more than 100 additional workers will be joining them. CBS 2 Susanna Song is live in Palatine with more on that. Hi, Susanna. Good morning, Aaron and Marissa. Take a look behind me. There are definitely more feet on the picket line this morning. Following a judge's order, all ESPA members, including nurses and special ed aides, are now able to strike. That brings the number up to more than 400. I don't know what you been told. A long line formed outside of Winston campus. They're on the picket line instead of helping the most vulnerable students in the classrooms. Yeah, we have students who uh, are tube fed, students that are wheelchair bound, that are relying upon adults to get them around, to move them so their muscles don't atrophy. We've got diabetic students that are requiring nursing services. A judge reversed an order to temporarily allow 168 nurses and other essential support staff to walk out, and they did. The district, in a scramble to find substitutes, decided it best to keep all 20 schools open today. Because there are many students in the district that may end up being unsupervised at home and many that come to school because that is the only way that they get any kind of nutrition throughout the day. It's very disruptive. No, I don't believe so. I think I think showing children and showing the community that we stand up for what we believe in, I think that's one of the best educations we can provide. Jen Alkins works in special ed. She's also on the union's bargaining team. I'm looking at an overall figure and we are still very far apart. Our beginning employees earn a little over $11 an hour, and that translates to a little less than $12,000 a year. She says other sticking points include benefits and retirement. Make no mistake, we are looking forward to going back to work. The next scheduled meeting for the two sides is on Sunday, but the union hopes to meet before then. I should also mention the school has excused all absences until this is resolved. Reporting live in Palatine, Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Erin Marissa. All right, Susanna, thank you.